Hi guys. Um, I've been wanting to make a video of this deck here, um, Tarot de Marseille. Um, I believe that's how you say it, Tarot de Marseille. Um, I'm kind of new to tarot. Um, and this is not my first deck, but it is my first unboxing. Um, and I have been waiting to open it. I bought it earlier this evening and um, I waited to put the kids to sleep and I fell asleep but I woke back up and now I am here doing my video for you guys. So I noticed um, I YouTube videos when I am looking to buy a new tarot deck and um, you know I just look up the videos to see what they look like, um, check the unboxings, the unboxing videos out to see if it's something that I might be interested in. And I noticed that even though there are several, um, several different decks uh, that they show on YouTube videos, I've noticed that there is not any, unless I'm searching incorrectly, um, but I have not found any on this specific box set. Um, so I just thought it would be uh, informational or um, useful for me to do a video. So I'm going to open it now and I apologize for my, my um, setup here. I don't have a great setup. I'm using my phone, the camera on my phone. So we're going to work with what we've got. And I am excited about this deck. Like I said, I am not, you know, I'm not a, a very experienced reader. I just started. But I do know that this is one of the original decks and I'm very excited to uh whoops see camera fell <laughs> um I'll just hold it for now but this is a beautiful box um it's really sturdy as you can see it comes in a really nice box um Very nice. Okay, let's see. Here's the book. And, and it's color. Oh, nice. Oh, beautiful. So it gives you the history. Good. Oh, okay, and this is the other box set that they've got. This is actually, um, I was actually debating. I didn't know whether or not I should get this one or the Golden Tarot, which is this, what they're showing right here. This card is a, um, is a card from the golden tarot uh, which down here it says it's the Visconti Sforza tarot tarot um, hmm. uh, like I said I'm not I'm not too familiar with the history of the this um, I just started out so I'm glad that it gives me some information and over here it says it's the Italian connection so they must have something to do with each other um you have to forgive me my ignorance uh okay so there's the french connection all right chapter two wow 
I like this book. Um, okay, let's see what else we've got in here. Okay, so it's going to give me the information on each card. We've got Temperance. Um, this is actually one that... This is, this is weird because this card actually um, stuck out to me. And it says it's the nameless card called Death in the Italian Tarot. This card must have been too frightening to its French creator's to merit a name hmm. suggest letting go of that which holds one back shedding the yoke of authority to strike out on one's own new opportunities made possible by endings impending illness or death so it gives you the meanings of the cards um And some spreads. Um, I guess there's some spreads here. Three card spread. And then the um, five card spread. Okay, so. I'm going to look at that a little bit more, but yeah, that's your book. Um, beautiful, colorful book. Um, feels good. I like it. Things have to feel good in my hands. I don't know what it, what it is about that, but um, I have to, it has to smell good and it has to feel good in my hands. So, so this passes for, oh, um, you know what, I saw that in a, another video. The color, the color wheel. Um, so the language of color, it explains what the significance of all the colors are, which, which I find very interesting as well. Okay, so that's the book. Let's move on. Um, actually, it comes with a, oh, I love it comes with a, a velvet bag to hold the tarot cards in. Let's see here, it comes with a, a silk. What do they call it here? It says it comes with a 78, 78 authentically recreated tarot cards, 144 page book describing the history behind the cards and instructions on how to use the cards to gain insights into one's life, elegant storage box, velvet pouch to protect and safely store tarot cards, and a purple satin tarot cloth. Okay, so it's a tarot cloth. This is definitely worth the money. I'm glad that I got this. So then it comes with that. It comes with the velvet bag to hold the cards. You got your book. And then, wow, the deck. I am impressed. I am so impressed. This is a very large deck, um, so much larger than I had expected, and it's beautiful. I love the back. Okay, I'm going to open it, opening it with my teeth. <laughs>
sorry. Okay, so here you have it, the deck. It's the back. Oh wow, the back's, oh no, that's not the back. I'm such an idiot. <laughs> this is the back. Also beautiful. And they're sturdy, I like that. Um, I'll post a video actually of another deck that I, I just recently got and I was not happy at all with the, um, the cardstock, um, the imaging, the, the image on the, the imaging on the cards is beautiful. I love it. Um, but the cardstock itself is just, it's, it's very cheaply made. Um, but uh, that's, you know, that's another video for another time. But, um, yeah, as far as the cardstock is concerned, it's pretty thick. I like it. Um, I love the backs. Here's a better look at it. Beautiful. And, yeah, so this, um, I guess I had assumed that it was the back because there was no writing on them. Um, okay, let me see. I'll figure this out. I'm actually going to have to look at the book and I'm not even going to be embarrassed about it because, like I said, I am new to this. So, 